Taxi and Evening Shade, but now we love her even more on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Aurora Tea Garden Films, the latest of which is Three Bedrooms, One Corpse. Do the math. It premieres <laughs> Sunday, June 12th. Welcome back, Mary Lou Henner, who is joined today. You can applaud by her husband and co-author Michael Brown. We're going to talk with you, Michael, in just a little bit, but we got to get down to business here. I know. With your character. Uh, so much fun. She, I did. She finds she's in the middle of this one, right? She finds herself. She kind of, well, yeah. I mean, first of all, my daughter's played by Candace Cameron Bure. I love her so much. Right. I know. Oh my God, she's my little birthday present. She has the same birthday. That's she's right. She's so <laughs> talented and such a great person, and just you know runs all over the country and is a great mom and yeah. everything else. Um, anyway, so she plays well, the, the librarian in town. I'm the real estate maven, and she's into these real murders. So she belongs to the Real Murders Club, and all these murders keep happening in this small town. Michael says, wow, it's a small population, and people keep dying. It must be hard for you. Yeah. <laughs> it must be hard for you to sell anything. Yeah, exactly. But I'm able to. And now, all of a sudden, one of the murder, one of the real estate agents gets killed, and then another one gets killed. Uh -oh. So I'm like, maybe the next target, maybe somebody in my team Ooh, is in trouble. Killing? So it's yes, but it's a Hallmark killing. So you know, <laughs> you never see blood. And, you they know, just sort of disappear. Like that. It's more like yeah. unicorns and butterflies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Death by butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a clip yes. of your character and your daughter Candace Cameron, who's played by My Candace Cameron Ray, and you guys are trying on bridesmaids dresses. Oh yeah, take a well, look. it's bridal month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. No, go, go, take, give me, give me. Is Sally gone? Yes, but only because my dress slowed me down. I think we should have said no when your Aunt Neela asked us to be in her wedding. She's your sister. And she has no taste in wedding finery. Well, if you'd let John propose, you could throw a wedding and show us all how it's done. Oh, a woman should date at least a year before she's ready to contemplate a proposal. Besides, this has completely put me off weddings. Unless, of course, you were the bride. <laughs> oh, look at that. So let me ask you, since you're sitting here with your very my, handsome husband. My third and final husband. I, I've had three weddings. I've never worn a wedding gown. Did you never, never wear a dress that no, looked like that? No, I never wore a dress like that. I never forced any of the women who have stood up for me, my sister and friends who stood up for me, never forced them no. to do So you, you didn't take, you took no. that advice? I took that advice, yeah. So <laughs> you sure. guys have been married since 2006. 2000, but almost 10 years. Met. We met in 2000. We met actually as freshmen in college at the University of Chicago in 1970. Uh, he was my doormate's boyfriend. I didn't dare twinkle in his direction. I was a little. That's what. Oh, actually, they, they do use a later picture oh, of you, okay. but that's oh, okay. okay. There but, it is. Um, yeah, that. I was a little. You know. Anyway, and uh, <laughs> he was college baby. No, fat. you know what? No, no, no. You know what it was? My father died when I was a senior in high school, and I ended up eating my feelings because I really oh. couldn't deal with his death. And uh, I put on a lot of weight. I started school at an all-time high. I knew something was wrong. When my mother took ill with arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, a few years later, I said, I'm not going to eat my feelings. I'm going to eat up information in instead. And that's what I why I became a real student of health sure. as a result. And so anyway, so Michael and I reconnected 13 years ago. And two months into our relationship, I mean, two months into our relationship, he was diagnosed with bladder cancer. And a month and a half later, they found a spot on his lung, and which was ultimately lung cancer. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Michael, I know. did you think she was going to turn and run? Well, I sure hope not. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, two months in, you're though. two months in, and yeah. you get this, and you you just heard she ate her pain away yeah. with her loss but, of her father. Well, you know, she never had any doubt. She was always there for me. I had yeah. no reason. No to doubt whatsoever. Yeah. Did you? And also, what happened was, uh, I've been working in the, the health field for a long time, yeah. and I had really great doctors who used the best of East and West. You know, they don't. They're full on medical AMA doctors, yeah. but they also look at the body as a whole, and so might have you do some other little habits to strengthen your immune system. Sure. So well, the first doctor we saw was not one of my doctors, but a doctor here in Los Angeles who's considered top of his field. He wanted to remove Michael's bladder, his prostate, make a neobladder out of a piece of his intestines, yeah. uh, and was, you know, then chemo, then radiation. And I, he said to me in the parking lot after we saw this doctor, he said, I don't, I don't want to lose my organs like that. And I said, I don't think you have to. Let's try some of my doctors. So suffice it to say, he didn't have to lose anything. Sure. And he also didn't do chemo or radiation, but he did immuno therapy and he went through major detox and he's been in remission now 12 and a half years. Yeah.
I have so many follow-up questions. I want to go back because we have a beautiful couple here that's engaged. Oh. It is weddings month, right? Yes. What made you in two, uh, two, just two months in, even yeah. though you know each other, you knew what was ahead of you. Yeah. What made you say, oh, this is worth fighting for? Did yeah. you know, like, this is it? Well, I'm pretty I, fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly. No, I knew it was it. I knew. You knew it was it, and that's what kept you in it. I knew for this those was who my are going to get married, I mean, that's what you're going to face, right? You know, <laughs> marriage is tough, <laughs> and when it, it, when you marry the right person, as tough as it could be, it's so worth the journey. It's so incredible, and I just couldn't lose him. I didn't think I'm with the love of my life to lose him now. You know, I just to can't lose him I, again, to lose him again now. Yeah. But the, but but was what was so incredible about Michael is that he let me take him around to the people, and he tried everything. And people go, wait, he does these supplements, he does rebounding, he does, you know, did all this other stuff. It seems so hard. And I said, okay, first of all, being unhealthy is hard. Being unhealthy is hard. Maintaining your health is hard. Yeah. Pick your hard. This yeah. was an easier hard than losing his organs <laughs> yeah, and chemo sure. and radiation. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding, and he's been around a long time. And, you know, when you know that it's like your person, it makes all the difference in the world. So then the question that I, I want to ask you, Michael, because there's so many times, and I think people misunderstand this when they say, oh, he's doing well, we give applause, you're mm -hmm. in a remission, yay, right. and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But is there a day that goes by that you don't ever question whether or not this could have ever come back, that you live in, a, I guess, an element of fear? Or concern, well, maybe? certainly awareness, yeah. I would say not fear so much. I think that it never leaves you. It's a chronic disease. You always have it in you, and you need to be realistic about that. And that's really what the book's about. Changing yeah. normal is about not so, it is about helping to cure the cancer or to beat back the cancer, but it's also about avoiding the, re, the, the return. That's sure. just really what happens. So many people beat it back into remission, and then they get a recurrence and yeah. comes yeah. back worse than the first time. And that's really tragic because we could do a lot to prevent that. Because or, or they suppress their immune system to a point right, where the drugs saying. and stuff that they're taking, they don't even have, stand a chance. Maybe the cancer's sure. gone, but now they're compromised in some way. So I, we say in the book, you know, think of your body as a field of soil, and if a weed sprouts, you have to tend to it lovingly. You have to change the fertilizer. You have to yeah. be different with it. You can't just lop it off and poison it and then yeah. not expect it to return. So you changed your lifestyle. What change is everything. What is your lifestyle like today? What do you do on a daily basis to stay healthy? <laughs> well, first I eat a very clean diet. Yeah. It's basically sure. vegan. I mean, you know, I do eat a little fish, but basically vegan, so you know, plant-based diets. That's probably the single most important thing. I hydrate. I drink a lot of water. I mean, I had a urinary tract um, yeah, cancer bladder. and bladder yeah. cancer. Nothing more obvious than pouring water through there and keeping it flushed out. Um, I exercise. Um, stress I do a lot of different issues. types of detox things. I, I think the detox is not something you do in a 30-day cleanse, although that can help you. But really, it's a day-to-day -day thing. You're, you're taking in toxins every day through your food, through your breath, through whatever. So you need to get them back out. And there's lots of ways of doing that. How, yeah. just, mm -hmm. how did that two months in change your path as a couple? Well, we yeah. got to sickness and health right away. <laughs> exactly. I said to him and later on, I said, I'm out. not doing richer or poor. <laughs> I got a sickness and health. Oh okay? That's it. In the first year. And writing the book was such, oh my gosh, we drove each other crazy during the book. I kept saying, it's a good thing you didn't get the cancer now, because ah, now I might have been. Just let you go, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Perfect. Be sure to catch the premiere. I didn't quite expect that answer, but I loved it. Uh, premiere of the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Three bedrooms, one corpse, and a Garden Mystery. It's this Sunday, by the way, the 12th of June on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.